we are going to solve this system right here. I've already written it as a matrix, and please take note the there was no y in this equation in the second equation, so the second row has a zero in the y column. Similarly, no x here, so there's a zero there. So I'm going to make some zeros. I already have a zero here. I'm going to make that into a zero, and it looks like I can just do some subtraction to do that. I can just go row one minus row two. So row one minus row two is going to go into row two. And so the first row stays unchanged. Uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. 6 minus 0 is 6. Notice I lose that 0 that was there. Not a lot I can do about that. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 6 minus 17 is negative 11. Feels good. Uh, third row is just going to stay as it is. Negative 5, negative 33. Good. And then let's see. Going from here, then um, I'm going to try to eliminate this. And I'm going to eliminate that. By making a 12 here and a 12 here. So uh, I'm going to multiply this one by 2, multiply that one by 3. So notice if I go 2 times the second row, 3 times the third row, and subtract, that'll make a 0 in that spot. So uh, I'll just do that work right now. First row is going to stay unaffected. Uh, I'm going to put it in a third row, so second row will stay unaffected. And 0 minus 0 is 0. 6 times 2 is 12, 4 times 3 is 12, so that's a 0. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 5 times negative 3 is 15, so that's going to be an 11. And then here I have uh, 2 times negative 11 is negative 22. Negative 3 times negative 33 is 99, so that gives me a 77. So this is great because now I know what Z is. Um, notice that uh, this third row says 11Z is 77. So z must be 7. So if I know that z is 7, I can plug it into this equation to figure out what y is, because it's a 6y minus 2z, z is 7, is negative 11. So 6y minus 14 equals negative 11. Add 14 to both sides. 6y is 3, divide by 6. y is 1 half. So I know y, I know z. I'm going to plug them both into this equation. 1x plus 6y's, y is a half, plus 1z, 1z, uh, which is a 7, equals 6. Half of 6 is 3. Here's a 10. And hopefully you can see where we are going. x is negative 4. So I can write my solution this way, just write it out, you know, write what x is, write what y is, write what z is, or I can write as the ordered triplet, x, y, z. Either of these solutions um, are a fine way to show it.